go, why do pro bono? Uh, because KLS can't do it all, shockingly. Uh, they have the entire state to cover. They have over 18,000 people that they represented in 2020. They all helped over 18,000 people, and that was only 60% of the people that called their office. So that's 40% of the people that call legal aid don't get help. And that is where you and I come in, because if they can't do it, there's not really anybody else to do it. So why should you do pro bono? Uh, I'm not saying that you shouldn't go help build that house with Habitat for Humanity. I'm not saying you shouldn't go help do some boxes, fill them with food at the food bank, but we are in a unique position to help people with their legal issues. And that's not something that anybody else can really do. So if you're not helping people with legal issues, they're just not getting help. Anybody can go build it. Almost anybody can go build a house with Habitat for Humanity. I cannot, but lots of people can, but not everybody can help somebody with their legal matters. So I'm not begrudging any of those opportunities. I'm not saying they're better, but if you're not helping the person who, or the family that's getting evicted, because they have a terrible landlord who's just evicting them. If you're not helping the mother fight for a protective order against their abuser, nobody else is going to do that. So this is where we come in, which to bar association and the Kansas legal services have helped with multiple expungement clinics, driver's license clinics, drug registry clinics is a new one. Um, expungements help people get things off their records so they can go get jobs so that they can go and do more fun things, go to school, do things like that. They can get their driver's license back, which means they can drive to a job. They can drive to drop their kids off at school. And I don't know if you've lived in Kansas long, but it's not real easy to do a heck of a lot of anything here without a car. Our bus system doesn't work unless you're on first shift. So that's not really a thing. Drug registry is a new thing where now we can get you off of the drug registry. If you've rehabilitated yourselves, we can get you off of that so that we can get you doing more and better jobs so that you can feel like you don't have this hanging over your head so you're not on the drug registry so people can't Google your name and find you. So helping someone who has no other options makes you feel uh, like an awesome superhero 